فاسألوا أهل الذكر إن كنتم لا تعلمون الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على من أرسله الله رحمة للعالمين وعلى آله وأصحابه وإخوانه إلى يوم الدين أما بعد The question uh, that was put to me is some people they break their fasts before the Adhan and they say the reason is because um, the Adhan that is done is not done at its correct time. So the Adhan that is done it is not done at its correct time. So the question is, is this action permissible? Is what this person is doing correct? Um, first of all, what we have to do is We have to divide between the fasting of the month of Ramadan which is a fasting, which is a congregational fasting It's a congregational fasting meaning a lot of people are fasting together at once and there is other fastings which are not congregational fastings. They can be obligatory and they can also be tatawa. Uh, I'm referring to that which is fardi, which is everyone is fasting alone. It could be obligatory in the sense where a person ha is fasting a fasting of leather. So he made an oath and so he was obliged to him to fast. But he's going to be fasting alone. But everybody's going to be fasting with him at that time. Or he's just fasting on Mondays on Thursdays, which is a tatawu' al-fardi. He's fasting alone, a voluntary fasting. So now those two have to be distinguished and divided by, which is the fasting, which is congregational. What I mean by congregational is at that time, many people are fasting. And the fasting that is done by a person alone. If the fasting is a fasting which is congregational, then it is obligatory and it's required that the person fasts and he breaks his fast with the people, with the people. And the Imam of uh, the Masjid, he has to break the fast with his the Hadith Abi Huraira, according to the Hadith of Abu Huraira. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, As-sawbu yawma tasawbuna. Fasting is the day which you guys fast. Well, fitru and breaking the fast is what? Yawma, the day tuftiru, that you break your fast. Well, adha, the day of Ad Eid al Adha is when? Yawma tudahuna, the day you guys celebrate Eid al Adha. That hadith is collected by uh, Imam Abu Dawood in his Sunan. So, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what did he clearly say here? That it's obligatory that the person is fasting and the person breaking their fast. And the celebrating of Eid, it is done ma'al jama'ah. He's done it, he does it with the people. And then he doesn't cut off from the people. Whether that is fasting, it doesn't matter. Or also if it's Eid, it doesn't matter. Also it doesn't matter if it's the sunset or if it's the sunrise. Fi ghurub al-shams or tulu' al-fajr. When it's Maghrib, he breaks it with the people. If it's Fajr, he starts it with the people. If it's the end of the month and it's, uh, Ramadan is over, he does it with the people. If the people are, uh, uh, see Ramadan and incited, he opens, he starts his fast with the people. The reason is because the person, it is not permissible. A person should not be alone. Well, the people should not try to be alone by themselves. The person should unify. Jam'an lil ummah. The unity of the Muslims. وَتَوْحِيدًا لِصُفُوفِهِمْ لِصُفُوفِهَا وَإِبْعَادًا لِأَرَاءِ الْفَرْدِيَةِ الْمُفَرِّقَةِ لَهَا Because فَإِنَّ يَدُ اللَّهِ مَعَ الْجَمَاعَةِ Allah is with the, 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 the unity. That is the first fasting. The second fasting which is the fasting which is Al-Fardi. Uh, singular fasting. Whether it's obligatory or whether it's tatawa. It doesn't matter. This one what we say is فَيُوكَلُ لِكُلٍ لِكُلٍ Everybody is going to be in charge of what? He looks at the time himself. He can check it for himself. He fasts when he thinks it's the right time to fast. Huh? According to the sighting, of course, he, not, not when he wants to and wishes to. 
But of course, I mean by him saying that the adhan is wrong, he can say now, I'm going to fast by the sighting. I see it myself. Because he's the only person who's fasting. And the evidence for that is the hadith, the ayah of the Quran. وَكُلُوا eat, وَشْرَبُوا drink. حَتَّى يَتَبَيَّنَ لَكُمُ الْخَيْطُ الْأَبْيَطِ مِنَ الْخَيْطِ الْأَسْوَدِ مِنَ الْفَجْرِ وَكُلُوا وَشْرَبُوا حَتَّى يَتَبَيَّنَ لَكُمُ الْخَيْطُ الْأَبْيَطُ مِنَ الْخَيْطِ الْأَسْوَدِ مِنَ الْفَجْرِ Fast, eat and drink until the, uh, the white robe becomes clear to you from the black robe. Becomes clear to you from Fajr. Meaning, if it's based upon the sighting. And also, when the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, إِذَا أَقْبَلَ اللَّيْلُ بِنْهَا هُدَا If the night comes from here, وَأَدْبَرَ النَّهَارُ And the daytime goes from here, هَا هُدَا وَغَرَبَتِ الشَّمْسِ And the sun sets, فَقَدْ أَفْطَرَ الصَّائِمُ The person who is fasting has broken his fast. And that hadith is connected by Imam Al-Bukhari. وَالْعِلْمُ عِدَّ اللَّهِ وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وإخوانه إلى يوم الدين وسلم تسليما